well for sure and this is the sheep I've been working on where I've had a real dilemma about whether this lilac shading works or not so huge thanks to everybody who's actually um, given an opinion on whether they like the lilac or the brown but I thought I would show you the process I go through to work out which would be the right colour so that's as it is now I've cut a few little pieces of this fabric which is actually not brown um, it's it's greenish but so you can see how that subtly changes the way the sheep looks so that's that's that color then I'll show you with um, different colors as well what could possibly work right so this time I've got a paler organza and um, just to see whether I've actually got the right shade there or whether it is too bright. So I've cut up some pieces here. So you can see whether that works or not. And I think that is improving it a bit. So that's what it looks like, a slightly paler lilac. Now somebody suggested blue. So I'm going to cut a little piece of blue up here so you can see there whether the blue improves it or not but I'm not sure that that is the effect that I am looking for even there it doesn't look quite right and there either so let's try another colour so in order to make the shading even paler I've got a little bit of white here so again, just a rough little piece to see what that looks like. And I walk backwards and forwards to see whether it works or not. So here's another little piece. And you can see that whilst the head doesn't pop out as much, it's still more subtle than the very bright uh, purple that I had. The other one to, I'm going to try is this uh, pinky colour just to see what that might look like. But that it's got too much red in so that's no good either. The next colour to try is um, some yellow. You can see the face has completely disappear disappeared there. So that's not right either. Taken the little white bits off and now I'm going to stitch these pieces down uh, because each time you do some stitches it changes the dynamics of the picture. So I'll stitch that down and then you can see again how it looks. So I've got a regular cotton needle and thread with a knot on the end and literally just catching this together just to hold it in place and next I'm going to try this brownish colour so I've cut up some little pieces And I think that actually works. This is stitching down the little piece of brown organza. You can see it's just running stitches with a neutral thread. And then I shall cut it off. So the shading here, which was causing me a problem, I've now made subtle changes. So this was what it was like originally. Then I've added some creamy organza and then finally a layer of this yellowish one and you can see each time you add a little bit more you get the changes like with watercolours. So it's got a bit of purple in but it's also got a bit of brown in as well and I think that that works better um, with the sheep's colouring than what I had before which was really quite stark. So I'll take you in closer 
so you can see the sheep. And it's made up of lots of layers. You can see there there's lace, there's printed cotton, your ganza. Uh, they've all been hand stitched together with a neutral thread and running stitch. And there's the little bits of wool. So it's Ryland wool for the Ryland sheep. And that's what it looks like from a distance.